Story of O is a 1954 work of French erotic literature by Andes Kloss, officially attributed to her pseudonym, Pauline Ryage. Written and published at a time when both female sexual repression and biases against female careerism were openly espoused in Europe, the novel was published by Ryage's friend, Jean-Jacques Pauvert. Its true author was not known until 1994. A highly explicit novel, even in contemporary terms, it concerns Ryage's sexual exploits, expressed in the form of love letters to her lover, Jean Paulhan. Ryage and Paulhan both admired the 18th-19th century French revolutionary and progressive advocate for sexuality, Marquis de Sade, his ideas are often reflected in the work. The novel articulates Ryage's views and desires about power dynamics in sexual relationships, kinks, and romantic love. Ryage uses the titular O as her character alias. O is a model-esque fashion photographer who lives and works in Paris. There, she engages in frequent sexual activity with members of a secret society to which her lover, René belongs. She is constantly on call for vaginal, oral, and anal sex, and engages in sadomasochistic play involving instruments such as chains, butt plugs, and whips. She pierces her labia and even allows a man to permanently scar her buttocks with an iron brand. At the beginning of the novel, René takes O to his country house in Rawassi, France. There, he molds her into his sexual servant, training her to be sexually available to all the desires of the men at his elite society. O expresses her consent to be his sex slave. After her training period, René sends O to his older brother, Sir Stephen, to engage in sex and symbolically seal her sexual servitude. Sir Stephen proves to be a harsh master, René claims that by serving him, O will understand the unique feeling of serving someone in a mutually loveless dominant submissive relationship. As she trains, O develops true feelings for Sir Stephen and believes that he reciprocates her love. That summer, Sir Stephen sends O to a chateau in Sammy's, where groups of women are rigorously trained to be sex slaves. There, she agrees to pierce her labia, attaching to the piercing a metal tag that identifies her master. She also sustains a painful branding on her buttocks. Renee asks O to court a shallow model named Jacqueline to coerce her to come to Rawasi. When Jacqueline sees O naked, she feels extreme revulsion, though O remains proud to be Renee's slave. Though Jacqueline rejects her, her younger half-sister takes an interest, asking to come to Rawasi. O attends a meeting of Renee's secret society, where he presents her as his slave. Wearing a mask resembling the face of an owl, she is otherwise nude. Renee attaches a leash to her labia piercing. At the gathering, the many male guests use O in whatever ways they please. Afterward, O has sex with Sir Stephen and his friend, who goes by, the commander. In the novel's conclusion, which went unpublished in many editions, Sir Stephen abandons O despairing, she declares that she would rather kill herself than suffer his abandonment. She asks permission to kill herself, a request he grants. Story of O is a highly graphic and problematic work that has pushed the limits of erotic literature, leading to discussions on the complex relationships between pornography, sexuality, power, and literature. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.